Well, Petty, what do you think? Hmm? Oh, never mind the clothes, they're easily changed. What about me? I'm sorry, I am a bit I don't quite understand. <laughs> I'm not people, Petty, I just so happen to be me. Natural metamorphosis, a sort of rebirth. I call it a renewal. This time, a positive triumph. Hm. I can feel it in every fibre of my being. <sighs> I'm always serious. Why ever not? My dear, that is what people said about Bo Brummel. Remember him? You may find this hard to believe, Perry, but I assure you I have 100% stabilised. You seem to forget I am not only of a different culture, but a different planet entirely. I am in your terms an alien. I'm guaranteed to have different compasses of morality and such things compared to you. At a great cost. I was on the verge of becoming neurotic. And I advise you, Perry, that you wait a little while before criticising my new persona. In time, you might find that it's not quite as disagreeable as you may think. And no matter what happens, I am the Doctor. Whether you like it or not. There you are. Here we go again. Well, that shouldn't have happened. Hmm. Repairing the chameleon circuit. The TARDIS, when working properly, is capable of many wondrous things. Not quite unlike myself. With the chameleon circuit working, you can change its appearance to blend in perfectly with its surrounding environment. I wonder why I never did it before. I don't think I've ever misjudged someone quite as bad as I did Lytton. Well, it's quite all right for you, Perry. You've only got one life. You'll age here in the TARDIS and die. But me? I shall go on regenerating until all my lives are spent. Well, since we're all insulting each other, I can't say I care too much for your taste in cloves. Doesn't do a thing for you. Of course I'm not all right! What happened? I never faint. I remember now. I felt a weakness. I felt a strong weakness and then I... I was in another place. Sit down! They're executing me! Except it wasn't that way. It didn't end like that, so it's not possible! Well, I exist! I am here now! Therefore, I cannot have been killed then! That is irrefutable logic, isn't it? Hmm? Oh, they're galaxies that exist within the universe of an atom. Difficult to study. They only last for an attosecond. It means you have to be quick. An attosecond is a quillionth of a second. Right, hold on. That petty is the smell of death. Ancient must, heavy in the air. Fruit soft flesh peeling from white bones. The unholy, unbearable smell of Armageddon. There's nothing quite so evocative as one sense of smell, is there? Of all the conceited ingrates! Do you know, he almost succeeded in concealing my natural charm. No. From now on, it's a healthy vegetarian diet for both of us. Should there be another day, I'll explain to you in great detail which of the many time laws I am not allowed to digress. Planets come and go. Stars perish. Matter disperses, coalesces, forms into other patterns, other worlds. Nothing can be eternal.
This is a situation that requires tact and finesse. Fortunately, I am blessed with both. In all my travels throughout the universe, I have battled against evil. Against power-mad conspirators! I should have stayed here! The oldest civilization in the universe! Decadent, degenerate, and rotten to the core! Ha! Power-mad conspirators, Daleks, and Tyrants! Cybermen! They're still in the nursery compared to us! Ten million years of absolute power! That's what it takes to be really corrupt! Unseenly outbursts! If I hadn't have visited Ravelox or so much as thought of it, the entire council would have kept this outrage buried as they presumably have for several centuries! 